Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a, a summary video about me, my channel, and the games we've played this year for 2019. I used to do this sort of thing while playing Grim Dawn, but this year I'm going to make a video with the explicit idea of talking about this stuff and how we did this year. To that end, I need a game playing in the background because no one just wants to listen to me talk. You, you probably want to watch me run around and just do something. So I'll be watching myself play Don't Starve with you guys because I find playing a game and talking about this stuff to be impossible to do. Especially because this is going to be like 45 minutes of me talking to you guys. So first, let's, let's get this out of the way. I, or rather my channel, managed to get 1,000 subscribers this year. I never thought that would happen, like, ever. I believe it was because of Seth, uh, whose first, uh, Seth Sidrich, or whatever his, however you say his name, when he revealed, revealed? When he reviewed Underrail, I picked up, like, about 150 subscribers. Holy crap. That was, that was amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> I, I never thought anything like that would, could ever happen. And it really drives home how... How when some higher, higher level, higher subscriber count, more popular, YouTubers record a video, how it affects all of us little guys that are out there. So hello all you, all you new people, and welcome, welcome to the channel. I also should say that, and this is, this is always, it's always so weird to think about subscriber numbers, because, well... You guys aren't just numbers to me, right? You're, you're all people. There might be a few bots that are subscribed to the channel, but by far and large, I, I just, I view all of you as your people. <laughs> you, you spend some time out of your busy day to click on a video I do and, and watch it, may, even for a few seconds, maybe to see if, if you're interested in what I'm doing at the moment. And so like long time subscribers, like Carbon Unit 6, Destruction 42K, Corey Jackson, Vulu, Mikolaj, whose name I always get wrong, Mike, or Just All One Resources. Uh, I can't, I can't do justice to this either because there's, there's so many of you. And, well, <laughs> you guys, you guys have been with me through some pretty horrible Let's Plays that I've done in the past. My, my first LPs were god awful. Absolutely terrible, and I have no idea to this day what people still like watching them. I cringe when I see them, and I have spent some significant amount of time over the past few years uh, redoing some of those earlier playlists and removing some of the earlier ones as well. There was just, it was just terrible. I picked up a few new subscribers who are who like commenting on my videos a lot. Uh, who are they? Let's see if I can get a few of them off the top of my head. Th Thice Huyen, uh, someone who looks like a Chaos Plague Marine as his avatar, who, whose name I cannot pronounce because it looks like it's in Russian to me. Rob Rue, My Greed, Jeb, uh, Jebby C, Adorkable, Mark Williams, Mr. Pokrov. Uh, there's there's plenty more whose names I I am forgetting. And uh, I have several viewers as well who has just stopped by to give me advice on things I'm doing wrong or how to play games a little differently, like pointing out a few tips and stuff like that. Uh, who are some examples? Uh, Anna Stuffs, who himself has a has a channel where he has done an amazing job playing, uh, what was the game? Invisible Ink. I watched his Invisible Ink series. Yeah, he, he did a fantastic job playing that game and it really helped me play that one as well. Uh, Faustus Dezugius, Uncle 1975, Beans and Cornbread. There's, there's many people of, of this sort too, uh, who have just stopped by, left me some tips, and thank you very much. I hope, I hope I'm not letting too many of you down when it comes to playing the games I'm playing. So I'm thinking we should, we should probably do something to celebrate that I hit a thousand subscribers. YouTubers like to do things when they hit various milestones, like 100 people, a thousand people, five thousand people, ten thousand people. I don't think I'll ever be popular enough to ever hit 5,000 people. And I don't know if I ever want to be popular enough to hit that many. That's a that's a lot of pressure to be better at, at what I do. But we should still do something. We should do something because I hit 1,000 subscribers. So I'm not sure what I should do though. Uh, like, 
uh, I can give you some ideas. Maybe you guys could tell me some ideas you guys have as well. And then I'd make a survey, which I've done in the past. Have you guys vote on that survey? Because I know there's people who will watch this video who do not like commenting at all on YouTube. They want to be silent and hide in the shadows and, and do their voting or their thinking about what they see. And that's, that's amazing. I do that sort of thing mostly as well. So we could get a webcam <laughs> and I could do a face reveal uh, for all you guys. You're gonna you're gonna be disappointed. I'm just I'm just gonna let's just get that out of the way. You're gonna be disappointed, but I can do that all the same for you guys. I can even if I can walk the webcam around the house, I can give you a tour of the house as well where I live. That, that could be fun. Take uh, like about 10, 15 minutes or so. Actually, it would take like two minutes to see the entire house because I live in a very small house here in South Jersey. But we could do that. You guys, again, you guys see what it looked like. And no, I would not be streaming my face while playing these video games. I, I don't do that sort of thing. I don't like that sort of thing. It would be for a one-time thing only. And then I'd be using the webcam for to talk with all my real-life friends at, on um, on the Discord and what have you. So yeah, so, so that's, that's one thing we could do. We could, we could make another survey where I, it could be like a ask me anything type of thing. I've, I've seen people do that on the Reddit. I was saying the right, I think, I think that's the internet forums spot. So you guys could leave me a bunch of questions and then I'd record another don't star video. And then I would go through all your questions and I'd answer all your questions. So that's another thing we could do. You could find out a little bit more about me. I'm always... I'm always nervous about doing that that sort of thing, but we could we could do that. I'm nervous just because I know I'll probably get a few political quiz questions, and oh, I I I like all of us to get along, <laughs> so political questions are not ones I want to answer. But I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, what else could we do? I could also make it. I could also make another survey where I ask you guys what games I should play throughout the year, and we could do that as well. I mean, I already have games lined up. But there will be a time or a point in which I'm done with all those games. And then we could begin playing through the games that you guys voted for. So, or, or other ideas. So if you guys let me know in the comments section down below what else you guys might want to see me do as a celebration, as a celebratory 1,000 1, subscribers video, uh, let me know. And I will do my best to, to do that. Well, again, we'll put together a survey for that sort of thing. So what else can we talk about? So, because I picked up quite a few subscribers, one second, some coffee. Which I really shouldn't be drinking, but we're having it anyway. So, because I picked up so many subscribers, probably a few of these subscribers have never heard about, about me and my channel and why I started it and stuff like that. So, well, let's talk for a few minutes about that. I know a lot of you old timers have heard this so many times and you're like, Oh, Tim, come on, you're doing the old man thing again, where you talk about the thing you talked about already like a million times, but we're gonna, we're gonna do it at least one more time. So, when I first started my channel, I did it because I didn't... Many of the people who had been recording Let's Plays, they were, they were talking over cutscenes, uh, they were they were being funny, and there's nothing wrong with being funny in in your in your let's play videos. Lots of people do it, and in fact, it's greatly enjoyable to watch someone do that. But I, when I started, I wanted to not not talk at all. Um, I didn't realize that was a thing already called like long plays. But I didn't want to talk. I wanted to keep the games being thematic. So, uh, like a game like Thief, one of the first LPs I, I uploaded was like me playing the game without talking. So I just wanted to do non-commentary Let's Plays, and this was before Google owned YouTube. So there were upload limits in place, you couldn't record any video that was longer than 15 minutes, you were limited to, to uploading in only like 360 or 480p for quality, but there also weren't any commercials. But I, I hated, I hated <laughs> watching people do videos where they ruin the immersion. I couldn't stand it. And so, uh, thus I started my channel. I was like, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and I'm going to upload the videos that I want to watch. And so, I had already been recording videos of my own. I just wasn't uploading anything to YouTube. And over time, I began thinking, well, you know what? YouTube would be a good place for me to upload these videos because it's like I get free storage space for all, all my videos. It's free online storage. Don't need a hard disk. They'll be up there forever or until the, 
until the YouTube goes down and dies off because it's just you can't you can't have a a place where you upload videos for free. And you let you let millions of people do it. Oh, how wrong I was at the time when I started it. So, thus I began uploading my videos. And I had started. What were some of the videos I started with? Half Life Two, Batman Arkham Asylum, Vampire Bloodlines, and Thief. Those were some of the first video series I think I uploaded to my channel. And my original Batman Arkham Asylum is still uploaded on my channel. God, it's horrible. It's horrible. I remember watching it a few, several years ago, five years ago. I couldn't stand it. I couldn't, st because I wasn't telling you what was going on. And although it was an okay non-commentary Let's Play, I decided to do all my exploring for secrets on screen. And so, when I rewatched it, I left a bunch of annotations, back when you were allowed to leave annotations on YouTube videos. Where I was like, please skip ahead, the next eight videos are me just not knowing what to do. Ah, oh, that was terrible. Anyway, uh, over time, I learned how to talk in my videos. Not very well. I had numerous sound problems. Uh, this is because, in, for my beginning videos, I just assumed everything was going great. I never checked the videos to make sure that they were going okay. And so quite a few of those videos were terrible. My, my original Half-Life 2 videos, I accidentally... Something happened with the prepend option for Virtual Dub. Let's, let's just say that huge swaths of that video series were repeated by accident in the video upload. So an area that I had done, I would actually... The video would be, be me doing that area like six or seven times. Terrible! Holy crap! I had numerous sound problems, especially with my voice, because I was recording on a headset. Now I have a Blue Yeti microphone that I do my recording with. I think it's significantly better as well. The video quality has greatly increased because I gave YouTube my personal information. Now, now, now Google's aware of where I live. That's fantastic. But it does let me upload an hour's worth of videos at high quality. So that's, that's good. Thank you, YouTube. Same thing with BitChute. We'll, we'll talk more about BitChute a little later. But, uh, wait, so what else was there? Oh crap, I'm getting, I'm getting lost. Alright, yes, so I, I learned how to talk. And my first talking in my videos was terrible. Lots of ums and uhs, lots of awkward silences. In this video I'm recording right now, I at least have an outline I'm looking at over here on the right-hand side of my screen. So I can try to keep my brain tracked with the things I want to talk about. Because originally, so I'm I'm pretty scatterbrained, everyone, and that means well, I use that term to mean that my thoughts go everywhere, and I try talking about all these thoughts all at once, and it means that I don't focus. I don't. My train of thought jumps tracks often, and I I can't stand it. I'm aware I'm aware I do it all the time as well. I also say the wrong things half the time, like I'm watching Wilson here. Mine and I might say we need to get more we need all this wood as I pick up rocks and I actually mean the rocks But I say the wrong thing. I've gotten better at this over time and I in particular because I'm listening to myself talk as I talk So now I try to correct myself when I realize I'm making mistakes by what I'm saying on law out loud to you guys <laughs> What else was a video series I had done that's still uploaded on my channel by the way Dragon Age Origins, my original Dragon Age Origins video series is still uploaded on my channel, or I think 400 or so videos of it. And oh my god, that was terrible! So many sound issues recording that game. I cannot recommend anyone watch it. But I know that people do like watching it, so thus it stays up on my channel. I am surprised that anyone actually subscribed to me as well. Surprised anyone did, especially early on, because th those videos sucked. They were they were god awful. I I can't believe how bad they were, and I just assumed I just assumed that it was gonna be like this forever because I just simply could not record a game without there being monumental problems in the in the output of that recording. The end result was just terrible. It seemed like no matter what I did. Now, to be fair, that's probably because I didn't spend a whole lot of money on any of the recording equipment. I, I spent 30 bucks on a Fraps license 
some 15 years ago. I've been using Fraps for all my recording needs forever. And I use Virtual Dub as my editing tool. And Virtual Dub's free. And this is, this is how I've been recording, compressing, and editing games forever. I think it's probably time I fork over some actual money, a few hundred bucks, and find some video editing software that actually is good, rather than... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm saying the wrong things. There's nothing wrong with Virtual Dub. Virtual Dub is a fine, free video editing software. It's it's wonderful. I shouldn't I shouldn't knock it. It's it's been it's been incredible. And again, I've used it for ten plus years. So so there's that as well. Right, but I should probably fork over some money for some real video editing software. So if you guys could recommend something, I would appreciate that as well. So what else is there? So, these days, so I was, all right, so uh, back then, when I would upload a video, the first one of the series, I would get maybe 10 people watching it. And then maybe one person would watch the entire video series forever. This changed a little bit as I began having less problems with the recording, and a few series really helped the channel take off. And by take off, I mean pull in more than 100 subscribers. Armageddon Empires was one such video series. Because it's such a niche game, no one plays it. And so, people found my channel after looking that game up. And in fact, I probably should try to record more of that game at some point. But anyway, so, on that note, several other games have recently helped my channel, right? And as I mentioned earlier, uh, when Seth revealed Underrail, holy crap, I was playing on um, I was playing Underrail at the time. So suddenly, it became one of my videos for Underrail, had got, like, let's say the first video for the Unreal series has like 3,000 people who have seen it. That's insane for me even to think about that. That's, that's insane. For, for my little channel, I'm not used to anything being so popular. And that's another thing that's, that, that's weird, right? Because a popular video on YouTube will have like a few hundred thousand or million subscribers, right? And for, but for my channel, even thinking of getting over a hundred people watching a video, that's amazing to me. I, I can't I can't believe that. And so now if I upload a video to YouTube, the first one in the series will probably get like 100, maybe even 200 people who watch it. That's what the heck? Like that's that's incredible. Thank you guys. I, I hope you guys are enjoying the games that I that I upload. And, oh, and, and furthermore, a video I upload will get, like, 15 likes for the first first one in the series? That's, what the heck? Thank you. Uh, I, I really appreciate it. I never, I don't like shilling, so I, I almost never ask for likes. Because, I don't know, it's, it's, it's up to you guys to do it. If you guys like it, I just assume you guys will like the video. But it is, it is a nice morale boost for me as a, as a YouTuber someone who records videos and uploads them, it is ra rather nice to to get that. Because it lets me know that you guys enjoy what I do, and you guys are interested in this particular video series, or at least this video that I had just uploaded. Another thing that I'm trying to, to manage at the moment are the comments on, on my videos. Know that even if I don't respond to them right away, I do read all the comments I get on my channel, and I'm appreciative of all of them. Sometimes I get some criticism. I find that's very important for a channel. It helps me realize maybe I'm making, maybe I'm playing a game too quickly, or I'm rushing something and so on, or I'm, I haven't taken something into account, so I like criticism. Even negative feedback, if it's mean, I still read it, and I still try to, I still try to, if I can, change the channel in some way to to take that advice into account, I'll, I'll do my best to do so. I will, I, t I try to heart all the comments I get to let you guys know that I have read them. But sometimes, I don't have time to get around to, to doing so. We'll talk more about real life stuff in a little bit. But know that I, I do try to read all the comments I get in my video. I, I'm, I went from getting no comments on any video I uploaded to suddenly I'll get six to 12 comments a day on some of the videos I've uploaded, and that's that's a lot for for me. So now let's let's see what should I do? What should we talk about now? So that, I think that's all for for the YouTube channel stuff. Let's 
let's talk about BitChute for a little bit now. So I'm going to upload this very video on BitChute as well, so we should talk about that one. I have this BitChute channel over here. I started the BitChute channel when YouTube started doing a few things that I wasn't a fan of. And my intention was to move over to BitChute at some time in the future. But things over here, if, I'll be honest, they've, they're have they worse than what I expected. That Things are going poorly over here on BitChute. And I, I'm not talking about the channel growth or anything of that sort. I, I realize that as a very small YouTuber that my Bitchu channel would be even smaller. I have no problem with that. What I'm talking about though is using this platform. So for those over here on YouTube who are curious about how that's been going and for all you people on BitChute who might watch this, my first problem with BitChute has been the payment processor. Because there is a bunch of politicalness which is occurring, BitChute has lost the ability for me to use my credit card in order to pay them. Over on BitChute, if you don't pay them, you can't use their playlists. In fact, BitChute disables my playlists if I don't give them money. So no one can watch my playlists. I can't access them. This is really stupid. I mean, I was paying for BitChute. At least let the playlists that I had up on BitChute be there so other people can see what I had done. I can understand you don't want me adding any new videos to them because I'm not paying for that that option, but come on, bitch, shoot, that's, that's pretty bad, especially because there's nothing I'm doing uh, to, to stop this. I would like to give you guys money, but alas, it's, oh, it's been bad. They, you can purchase Bitcoin to pay bitch, shoot, instead of using your credit card, but every attempt I've, I've had or attempted to purchase, to use Bitcoin has failed. I can't seem to purchase it whatsoever. Thankfully, there was a subscribe star option recently, and so now my playlists are re-enabled over here. I actually need to spend a few hours and go through all the videos I was uploading in the meantime and get them added to all the playlists. I'll probably try doing that during the middle of this week. Next, the BitChute upload client has lots of problems. Like, many problems. Videos constantly fail to upload. They don't render. And I don't find out about it until, like, a... A few days, I'm gonna say like up to a week later, and that's a that's terrible because by then I've probably deleted the local copy I have of the, of that video. Now I need to go to YouTube and download that video and then re-upload it to BitChute. So that's that's pretty bad. So all these issues mean that instead of being my preferred place to upload videos to, BitChute has become the backup place where I upload videos to instead. That's a ah uh, that sucks. So I gotta keep my my eyes and ears open for a possible other place that I could upload my videos to instead of BitChute. So what else is there that we can talk about? So, so let's talk about me. We've talked about our channel for a little bit. So first off, I am very lucky that I am still recording these types of videos for you guys and uploading them. You might not remember, but I think it was just about a year ago, a year and a week ago to this day that that I had that series of strokes which uh, paralyzed me while I was at the hospital. And I... <laughs> my life has never been the same uh, since then. I don't want this to be too much of a, oh, woe is me, all these problems. But... The reason why my videos for uploading has not been as consistent is because of all the problems which have stemmed from that t that time period and afterwards. So we're, we're, I'm just going to mention these things to you guys. I'm not looking for pity. Please, please don't feel sorry for me. Many pop, many people have more problems than I have, and as you can hear, I can speak, I can talk fine, I can walk fine. I don't have, I'm not paralyzed. The transitory ischemic attacks and the stroke I had, they, they haven't done anything permanent. Well, they have done some permanent things to me, but nothing which has altered my life in a way that I cannot try living it the way that I 
I, I, ha I currently am living it. So, so if, if, you, if you did not know, uh, a year ago, November 3rd, uh, I had a stroke. I was at the, I was shopping and suddenly I, I fell. I went to the hospital and I had another two that day, November 3rd. And then on November 5th, I had 12 more. During the worst of these, I was paralyzed for about like uh, 15 minutes, the longest length of time I was paralyzed for. I couldn't talk. I could only make baby sounds. My voice how did it go? I guess it was it was a nightmare, and I couldn't move the right hand side of my body. Uh, when it was happening, I I, be, I remember thinking to myself, I'll never be able to record another video again. I will not even be able to tell anyone what happened because I cannot speak. Uh, rather, I cannot speak well. So some of the some of the some of the episodes made it so I could only again make baby sounds. I could only the good good like stuff like that. Other times I what I could still talk, but my voice was oh it did not sound like me at all. Oof, that was terrifying. But I. I've made apparently a full recovery. The doctors, I've seen so many doctors now. No one knows what's happened to me. <laughs> no one knows. Uh, my, my CT scans and MRIs have shown that the infarct I had, which is to say the damaged part of my brain, is not damaged any longer. This does not happen. So the doctors are confused as to what even happened to me. But there are still some things which have uh, which have affected me, and this is why my uploads have not been so so constant. First, I suffer from anxiety now, and I never I never used to. I I, I always thought anxiety was just you know you're nervous. Let's well, just stop just stop being anxious about it. Just you know don't don't be anxious. Stop being nervous about something. Anxiety will go away. That's not how it works at all. <laughs> That's not how it works at all. <laughs> what what actually happens is that. You, you can't convince yourself not to worry, and your body starts shaking, and you feel terrible. And in my case, it feels like I'm going to have another episode and be paralyzed again. And I don't want to record, I can barely bring myself to talk, I just, want, I just want to curl up in a ball and hide from everybody and just pray this feeling stops. And this has been an ongoing thing for me ever since I got out of the hospital. Terrible. Oh, it's just, it's just terrible. I put on 10 pounds this year due to the fact that I can't exercise. Or rather, I was having trouble exercising because I couldn't bring myself to go anywhere. I tried going to the park to walk around. I start having a panic or anxiety attack. I immediately leave, get in the car, go back home and be like, no, because if I fall in the park, no one's going to know where I am or I could really injure myself. I don't want this. It was terrible. Uh... Now, I have come up with a few ways in which I can deal with my anxiety. I'm aware that it's just anxiety doing this stuff to me. And I can, I can talk myself through it. And I've been going back to parks and hiking again. And I am now maintaining my weight. Still, still 10 pounds overweight, but I'm not putting on anymore. What else is there? For health. Uh... Otherwise, things have been good with me, despite despite the anxiety. And again, I should be, and I am, really, really glad that I didn't have a permanent stroke. That there has been, aside from the anxiety, there has been no other issues with me. I'm seeing many doctors. I'm seeing, in fact, the doctors believe currently that what caused my problems are migraines. And that I, I am, I do get dizzy very often. And the doctors can't see any ear-related issues as to what's causing it. And so they think I have the worst migraine combination in the world. I have a vestibular migraines that cause my vertigo and that also can paralyze me whenever they want. I have not had another paralyzation event since November 5th of last year, but I need to be put on medicine for it. And the medicines I was put on for it have horrible side effects. We're not going to go into all the horrible side effects that these medicines have done to me. Let's just say that in the end, uh, it's a really tough choice of risking to be paralyzed again 
or risking the side effects of the medicine that was put on. Ugh, terrible. All right, now that's that's enough for my my sad, sappy stories. Let's end this video series on a on a happier note. I think we should talk about the games I plan on pl the games I played this year, because this is this is also supposed to be a a review a yearly review video or summary. And so let's summarize all the all the games I played. And I can't I can't believe some of these games were games I played this year. It feels like I played I started playing them years ago. Like this is something I recorded three or four years ago, but no, totally was 2019. So first, obviously, is Underrail, right? This was an amazing turn-based strategy game, very unforgiving combat, very punishing, but yet it felt fair the entire time. I really, really enjoyed the combat for Underrail. Good lore, I like the story, I love the world, I enjoyed building all sorts of different characters and seeing if they're able to actually survive uh, the same encounters in different ways. I love playing non-mig-maxed characters in games, and if a game gives me an option to play in a non-optimized way, I'll take it in a second, because I want to see if I can beat the game uh, without playing the game in a optimized fashion. Not that there's anything wrong with doing so. I just really like playing characters who are not min-maxed. And Underrail has been amazing. What an amazing, awesome game. I really, really enjoy Underrail. I can highly recommend it. everyone pick it up. What else is there? We played Aedor Genesis New Horizons. Which is... Which was amazing. But it has that hyper-leveling glitch. And... I'm, uh, <laughs> oh, I should just say it, because you guys will find out t tomorrow, if not, if not when this video goes up today, November 17th. Uh, I'm probably going to take a nice long break from Underrail Genesis New Horizons because of the hyper-leveling glitch, because I'm going to be encountering this glitch on every single shard from now on, and it's not to my liking. Uh, a part of me really, really... Wishes I'd never played Android Genesis New Horizons because of just how how frustrating this problem is when I encounter it. And that's a real shame. That's a real shame because I can recommend Android Genesis New Horizons as long as you don't fight the AI. If you play a multiplayer game against yourself, it's wonderful. Absolutely fantastic game. But against the AI, which is to say you play a single player, or you play it in the campaign mode. Can't recommend you. Can't recommend you play it. Not until they find and fix this problem. That's a ah, that's a shame because it, it really ruined the the game for me. But otherwise, otherwise, the New Horizons mod fixes almost all the problems that the base game has. The only issue that still exists in the base game is the hyper leveling. We played through Resident Evil 2. Uh, a little bit at least this year. We played through Claire's campaign. I meant to play through the game again with Leon, but, and normally I wouldn't care, but that video series did very poorly on my channel. It, no one really watched it, and no one really cared uh, to leave comments on it either, which is, which is fine. I, I know we don't care about that sort of thing, but... From what I could tell, no one wanted to watch that series, and except for me. And I, normally I'd be fine with that sort of thing, but I decided that, well, I'd rather keep uploading videos to YouTube that you guys also want to watch. I can just back up the Resident Evil series on a local drive so I can watch it whenever I want to. But otherwise, I should probably play games that we want to watch. So... Maybe later I'll play through the game on Leon with Leon and upload it, but probably not. Not because compared to the other games I'm uploading, that one's doing that one did very poorly. But Resident Evil 2 was an amazing game. Holy crap! I think that's one of my favorite Resident Evils. It, the the gameplay was fantastic. I really loved the voice acting. It was amazing. I liked the story. I loved fighting the zombies, even though it took a million headshots to finally kill a zombie, I still liked it. I thought, I thought it was amazing, I thought it was fantastic. Really, really enjoyed Resident Evil 2. We began playing through Occult Chronicles, I've kind of let that series... Uh, it's not dead, I have another video to upload, 
but I have to do some more modding on the game to fix it. Uh, the next video I'm about to upload, that video also had a crash, but that crash was of my own doing because of how I tweaked this one creature. And so I need I need to take a look at that cre uh, what happened and fix it. <laughs> and then upload the video again. We will get through A Cold Chronicles with, with Doctor Whom, and then I will play through it one more time with another character, and then that will be it for that series. Yeah, but I... Uh, a Cold Chronicles is a guilty pleasure, because that game has some balance, some serious balance problems with it, but I still like playing it despite these problems, and I'm aware of these problems, and I can mod the game to get around many of the problems that game has. So, but decent game. Decent game. Glad, glad to get it uploaded around the Halloween time again for you guys. We played a little bit of, speaking of Halloween, we played a little bit of Consuming Shadow. We did it twice. We ended the series with a fantastic victory against the Elder God. That was amazing. We got an, we got an A+. Plus. Fantastic. Fantastic. I'll probably slip in another two videos on that uh, this upcoming year around the holidays as well. I love playing Consuming Shadows around, around um, Halloween. We beat Hollow Knight together. This was a very fun platformer. Very, very Metroidvania. I am super glad I recorded it. I am also glad I got through most of the game on screen because a good deal of the game was me running around and dying over and over again to the bosses, which is fun. That's fun to watch. I, I myself feel it's important to keep all of your deaths on screen because I think it makes the games more relatable to, to the viewer and because... Let's be honest, you guys are watching me play these games because you want to watch me fail on occasion. It can be fun to see that, right? At least, I, I think so. I think it's it's good to see someone struggle. Very, very good to see them struggle because it it brings back the fact that I am not a god at these games. I'm, I think I'm good at most of the games I play, but I'm not super, super amazing. And so, we still died several times in Hollow Knight. It was... It was a fun game to play through. We beat the game, and we beat the, the the secret harder boss at the very, very end with a fail montage to begin with, and finally a sweet victory at the very end of it. That was amazing. Really, really enjoyed Hollow Knight. What a great game. I can recommend that to anyone who likes Metroidvania-like platformers. You know, you might not remember, but we played through Project Warlock as well this year. That was a incredible old-school FPS. Oh my god, I loved it. I loved that very much. The music was fantastic. I loved all the different worlds. I liked all the different enemies. The secrets felt fantastic. Like, you could... There were secrets. They were extremely well hidden. I liked the leveling system. Liked all the guns. Fantastic game. Holy crap, that was amazing. Good, a, a very good romp. And I, I believe I beat the game again off-screen. It was... Hmm... What a fun old school FPS that was. We played through Crypt Arc this year. Do you remember that one? That twin stick shooter? Holy crap! When I started recording that, I thought for sure we were going to die over and over and over again, especially at the Crypt Arc itself. But we never failed any of the campaigns. I got I managed to knock all of the dust off my twin stick shooting skills. And we did extraordinarily well. That was a huge amount of fun. Very difficult twin stick shooter. Great, fantastic blood pumping music in that game as well. Loved all the different weapons, the customization you had with all the different types of uh, armored suits you would go into Crypt Arc with. It was great. Absolutely loved it. I really need to grab the official, the official soundtrack to that game at some point. And the last game we played through was Prey. Remember Prey? Seems like, seems again, like that was many years ago that we played through Prey. Holy crap, but no, that was, that was back in, what, uh, January? February of this year? I, I think Prey's difficulty was a little too easy, unfortunately. Uh, once we up, once we took our human upgrades, and we took that slow down time, do more damage while time is slowed down, a spell, oh, Oof, that made the game way too easy. <laughs> Shouldn't have taken that upgrade. But uh, it was fun. I really liked the story. The voice acting was was very good. It felt very System Shock 2-ish as well. I, I think 
I wish I played the game on a higher difficulty level or played a modded version of the game which increased the difficulty in some way. Or, alternatively, played it with a few optional house rules, like if I killed a... Oh, what were they called now? If I killed one of the aliens, I would not be allowed to loot its corpse for anything but its corpse bits. If it dropped, like, ammunition or stuff, I would forbid myself from picking it up. And that way we would struggle and have to spend some of our resources making more arm, making more weapon supplies, like bullets and what have you, rather than just making a ton of neuromods to level ourselves up. So yeah, a little too much of a cakewalk, I think, in the, in the end, playing on normal. Probably should have played on Nightmare. Probably would have been a lot tougher. Would have died a lot more. Well, actually, maybe not, because even on hard, I didn't find it that difficult. But whatever. It's still, it's still a good game. I do not regret playing it. Probably should play through the... I won't record the game again, but I should play through the game again at some point. That was... It was good. Love the mimics in that game especially. What a fantastic enemy. What a fantastic enemy that was. Holy crap. So... Well, we're almost done with this video, everyone. We got like another six minutes or so. We have a, one more day cycle to do. So... I guess we can talk about what games I plan on recording in the future. So... I do plan to play through... What is the game? Oh, Underrail. I plan to play through Underrail again. I will have a a video uploaded. Um, I I probably will get to it today. I've been putting it off because of how tired I've been and some other some of my health problems. But I will start recording it today, and it's going to be probably close to 40, 40 minutes or so. And I'm going to be talking about all the types of characters that will be up for a vote as the type of character that we will play through the game again with. I'll make a Survey Monkey video as well at the end of it, so this way those people who want to vote who do not want to leave a comment will be able to do so. And you guys will tell me which of these characters we'll play through the game with. I have 10, I think, characters I'm going to put up for a vote, and we'll talk about their builds and any thematic decisions I will utilize while playing that character. Currently, I'm playing through Unreal. This game will probably be finished before the, the holidays. I'll probably play through Return to Napali. And I'll probably play through Unreal 2 as well at some point in the future. There's a game I've gotten recently, which I began recording, and then I decided that I should play the game a little more so I understand the mechanics before I begin recording it. And that game is Disco Elysium. And so I plan to begin uploading videos for that game soon. My, my thoughts being that it is a very Planescape tormenty game. In other words, it's a game that there's combat... But it's very, very, very limited in scope as to what combat is. And it's nothing like any of the combats in any game I've played. It's basically you roll two dice, do you succeed or not? And even then, combat is probably the wrong way to describe it. It's an encounter that you have the option of attacking someone in. But by far and large, and I mean for 99% of the game, you're... You're not in combat. You're talking. It's a dialogue game. And the type of character you build with your stats determines the type of dialogues you'll have, the options you'll have, with others in the game itself. It's amazing. I really like what the developers have tried to do with this game. And I... I it's probably... I was, I'm was. i imagining it's extremely popular here on YouTube. But I still would like to record it anyway. And so... I might actually begin uploading that series soon. For other games, I'm thinking, well, I would like to play through Eye of the Beholder. I have the series I'd like to play through. I, I think I'd like to play another turn-based strategy game of some sort. I'm thinking Ogre Battle 64 or Masters of Magic. I would like to finish The Witcher 3 or at least start that up again. So we're going to do that. And I might, I might also start up a new Dragon Age Origins Let's Play. Because I never finished the, or the original redo of that series. And I, I hate leaving video series undone. So we may play through that again. And I'd finish basically what I started years ago. I, I really wanted to finish that video series. But I do not have the save file for when I was playing it originally, some, some like two or three years ago. So, oh well. 
And I will keep my eyes, uh, my eyes, I will keep my ear to the ground in regards to Aedor Genesis New Horizons. Because if the developers of that game fix the hyper leveling, I'll go back and play it in a heartbeat. But until that happens, and I'll be honest, that probably won't happen for uh, some time. If it does actually happen. But if it does, we'll come back to that game in a second. Yes, and uh, looking at the background, I have like a million different game icons back here. I'm seeing all sorts of different games I, I could also play. We'll see. We'll see what, what I decide to play through. Uh, or maybe leave it up to a vote, and you guys can de can decide on several games. Like, I, I pose a survey to you guys, just like I did last time. You guys tell me what games you'd like to see, and we play through it. Alright, and now I'm apparently... I'm all done talking about everything I wanted to talk about. Holy crap, that was like 45 minutes! And we have like 5 minutes left. So now, I'll, I'll actually pay attention to what's happening on screen with you guys. So what's going on here? Die, monkeys! God, I hate these things. So uh, the way I deal with monkeys is that I, I burn their, I burn their huts, and then assuming I have bananas, I get myself an army of half the monkeys, and then I use that half monkey army to kill the other half of the monkeys, and then ev any monkeys which are left alive that are part of my army, I kill them. <laughs> this way, I never have to worry about monkeys again. And it looks like, what, I, what am I doing in this game? Oh, I have secured our starting camp. Now, I'm a huge fan in, in Don't Starve. Okay, so first off, you should know something about Don't Starve. I play Don't Starve to relax. Um, I don't play Don't Starve for a challenge. So, there's a few alterations I always do to the worlds I'm living in for Don't Starve. I increase the mild season slightly. So instead of, I think, 25 days or 24 days, it's 30 days for me. And in the case of Shipwrecked, I disable the Seal NATO because I am not good enough at this game to beat the Seal NATO. That is the only changes that I do. Sometimes, well, actually, sometimes I will disable the Volcano. It's not because I find the meteorites difficult. They're actually a great source of charcoal and stone. It's just that I want to... How can I how to describe it? Because of the amount of stones that you get from the volcano, I find that actually makes the game a little too easy. And so by disabling that, I put myself on a time limit because I will eventually run out of stones. And then I'll need to go to a different world. For this, for this game that we're watching, however, I, I believe I only disabled the Seal NATO, and I've made it a little, made the mild season last a little longer. I think our starting location is fantastic. We are in the middle of a jungle biome. We have a rock biome to the upper left. We have some oxen to the upper right, plenty of trees, and a beach to, right north of us. So we have almost all the different biomes in this area here, except for the swamps. And so now I'm setting up my entire, well, what's going to end up being my base camp. Oh, darn it, didn't drop meat. Just got it. Just got a. It's got a feather. We'll wait till that monkey falls asleep, and then we'll we'll probably kill it. Yep, here we go. Let's kill it. Yes. Give me your stuff, monkey. <laughs> what else is there for this game? We've only got like another one or two minutes, everyone. Then they were calling this session. So. I'm a big fan of a bit of a chaotic looking base. Like when it comes to when it comes to placing things around, I like leaving trees. I always like building my base near a gold vein just because I like the rock uh, being near the fire pit. I know I don't know why I do this. I just I just do. I will end up clearing out this space and building uh, floorboards around and stuff like that because I believe any. Housing floors you build cannot will not be able to be flooded instantly. Flood floods don't start on such spaces. So we'll end up having some rugs, some boards on the ground, and in the outer sections, I'll move some of that rock biome we see to the upper side down here. And everyone, we're, I think I'm about to stop this video series. So or th rather this video. So thank you guys for watching. Listen to me ramble on for quite some time. And if you guys liked watching me play Don't Starve, we could 
play Don't Starve as well. But I generally think you guys will be bored of me playing Don't Starve because of the alterations I have done to it. Again, this is a game I play to relax most of, more than anything else. But in any case, I'm, I'm babbling, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here, and I will talk to all you guys later. Actually, first I'll build a sign. Oh, right, I play the game modded as well, so you can see I I love to have wear armor and have a backpack. I have a mod that lets me actually write things down on signs and chests so I can label them so I know what's what's going on. There might be a few other mods I have installed as well, a few like other creation things like floor lights and stuff like that. Another reason why I don't think you guys would enjoy watching me play the game. Some of these things I know will make the game a little easier. And I know, that, again, you guys prefer would prefer probably watching me struggle through this stuff. So, probably not a series I would vote to play, but if you guys want to watch me play it, I could do that. I think I'm going to call it right after I outfit the boat. All right, everyone. Well, that will do it for you, got for me. Thank you guys again for watching this this summary video, and I will see you all. Well, in the next game I play, and that will that will do it. I'm babbling. Thank you all for watching, and take care, everyone.